Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to create nice 3D animations in After Effects, giving the impression to fly through a still photo, just like these examples. And to do this, I used a template I created called Volumax 3D Photo Animator. Uh, this is the version 5, you can find it on Envato. And today I'm going to talk to you about the Smart Mask tool included in Volumax. This is the fastest way to animate your pictures. I'm not going to talk about the portraits today because I did another video about that subject using the 3D portrait tool also included in Volumax. So I'm going to import my first picture in my Volumax Pro After Effects project. I'm going to drag and drop it in your picture here. I'm going to make it fit in the composition. And uh, now I'm going to go in my Your Displacement Map composition. I'm going to activate my Smart Mask tool and enter in the composition by double clicking. Here I'm in the Smart Mask tool composition and here I have to create mask. So I'm going to double click here and uh, I can see that here I have to create mask in a layer close, mid and far. Here they are and I can do up to three masks per layer. Uh, you have to extend the mask out of the borders and there's a help file uh, just here and you can see on this example that you have your uh, close, mid and far masks. Uh, you have to extend out of the composition border and you can see on the example that here you don't have to do the farthest mask, uh, you can leave it empty. Okay, so I'm going to draw my foreground here in the close mask layer. Okay, I accelerated a little bit the video so it's more interesting to watch. Uh, this is in the foreground. I can modify, of course, my uh, drawing after I've done it. I'm going to draw the mid distance uh, layer here. I'm going to create two masks one for the left and one for the, the right with the guy up on the cliff over here. Okay, I'm gonna get uh, large around the guy here because uh, this is gonna avoid some distortions. Uh, we will talk about this later. Um, you don't have to be very precise here, so uh, you can go fast. Now I'm going to finish with the far layer mask, the mountain over there. Okay, and uh, you can see I'm growing the borders. I'm going out of the composition for each of the objects. We're going back now in the Smart Mask tool. Uh, where we are going to create our depth map. And what is a depth map? I'm going to uncheck uh, in the effect panel the show mask uh, checkbox over here. And this is a depth map. In white we have the foreground, in black we have the background. I'm going to take off the details here. So you can see that we have our three layers, the close, mid and far. I can change the volumize uh, effect over here. If I put it at minimum, it's super flat. And if I go at maximum, it's going to be blended and smooth between my layers. The default value at 50 is OK for this example. I'm going to put a little bit of detail here. You can uh, change the sharpness of the details, very smooth or uh, very sharp. Um, and uh, you can also go further by changing the Z position of your mask uh, for each of the distance. I'm going to keep it at default here. I'm going to go in the main comp 4K where you're going to animate in 3D in Volumax and move the controller here to see how it moves in real time in 3D. I think all the process took me about 2 or 3 minutes to achieve so I'm really glad of the, the results here. I'm not going to show you in detail all the settings over here because there are tutorials included in the package. I can show you the parallax zoom that gives you the ability to go in your picture, the left right parallax and the up down uh, parallax too. You can add some dirt, some dust to your picture. You can see it now moving in real time. Uh, you can add some flares uh, in the animations. You can even change and choose a flare. Uh, you can see them move in real time here with the dust. Uh, you can also do some uh, depth of field here and set uh, your focus points like this. Okay, this could be nice for some macro style pictures. 
you can also do some fog. It's a 3D fog because you can see it's not going in the foreground and only in the background. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to animate all this. I'm going to create a key for the controller on the left. I'm going to move it just to the other side on the right. The keys are created on left right animation. I'm going to add some parallax left right. My controller is on the left. So I'm going to put a little bit of left parallax. I'm going to activate the keys here for animation going at the end and going to change the parallax to the right because my controller is now on the right. Okay, I'm going to make a preview of this. Now we can see the preview playing in After Effects. And here is the final result once I play the bits with the keys and the settings. We're going to continue with our second picture here. This one is interesting because it's not a landscape or a portrait, it's an object. And uh, sometimes it, it can be a little bit tricky to find the close, mid and far mask uh, in a picture, but normally you can always find a way to create your three masks uh, in a picture. And keep in mind that some pictures just can't be animated in 3D using Volumax or any other tool or even high-end 3D softwares. But this one is okay. I'm doing the close mask on the backpack, the mid one on the arm here, and finishing with the far mask uh, on the body of the girl. And I'm not doing the farthest mask layer over here. I'm going back in the smart mask tool. I'm going to show my depth map here by unchecking the mask preview. Um, I'm gonna take the details off for now. And I'm going to move uh, my layers in that space because uh, there isn't a lot of distance between the close, mid and far ones. Now, um, I'm going to use the volumize tool here. I'm going to get this a little bit closer and uh, we're going to see if it works now in the main comp 4K. Okay, this is nice. You can see it's moving in 3D, you can see the volume of the backpack here. And here is the final animation I created with this picture. Okay, we're going to work on the third picture now. This one is the most complicated because we have to extract the characters. And uh, I'm going to use Photoshop here to show you how to extract them. I'm using the lasso tool here to extract uh, the, the three characters. And I'm going to reconstruct uh, the picture behind um, the water, the sky. Uh, so we can use it uh, in Volumax. Uh, here I'm using also the, um, the edge detection to get some, uh, some more detail uh, in the, the edges of the, the characters. I'm going to copy and paste it to put the girl on a layer, like this. So now I can move her. That's what we're going to do in After Effects later. I did the three characters here, so we have the two girls and the, the guy here. We can move them. On three layers. I'm gonna hide them and now I'm going to clean the background by using a lasso tool, a freehand lasso tool like this. Uh, you have to do a large selection around the characters and I'm going to use the fill content aware uh, in Photoshop so it's going to automatically reconstruct my background and this works nicely. So you have to save your four files in a folder, the characters on an alpha PNG for example. I'm going to import them back in Volumax now. And doing what we did on the two other pictures uh, for the background. So I'm going to draw my three layers like on the other pictures here. On the um, close, mid and far. And choosing which rock is going to be on each of them. And as you can see I'm not going to draw anything in the water. That's because we have uh, something in the Smart Mask tool called the floor. And uh, this works of course for the floors, uh, streets and water of course. And you, you're just going to resize this layer to make it match on the water over here. I'm going to show the depth map and you can see this is already nice. I'm going to adjust a little bit uh, all the settings here. Okay, making something maybe closer to us. Uh, 
I'm going to use this blur zone tool here to make the things a little bit smoother between the rocks and the water. And this is better. I'm gonna add some detail over here. And we're going to test all this, uh, the 3D effect in our main com 4K. And you can see some layers under called objects. There are 3D layers uh, where we're going to put our characters here. I'm going to start with the first girl. I'm not going to explain in detail how all this works because this is an overview. Uh, there are included tutorials that uh, will show you how to, to work with uh, objects uh, and all these settings. You can see now our uh, layer is moving in 3D uh, in front of the background. You can adjust the setting of distance and the Z space and you can move it in your picture, scale it and you can even add some displacement to get some extra 3D effects on your 3D objects here. Okay, uh, we're going to import the other two characters very fast here. Uh, it's the same process we just did with the first one. So you can see that uh, the three objects here are just matching in the 3D space with our displaced background. And uh, you can also move a uh, rotation. And here's the final result. You can see I also animated the water and I did some character animation with the puppet tool. You can see all this in the tutorials included in the package. And you can see in this last example that even if you can't clearly see the three distance layers in the picture, you can still have nice results on your death map. And you can see that this one that didn't seem easy in the first place also works great in Volumat Pro. Thank you for watching.